Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Oracle of Ages. This is episode 14, I think, is I 13 or 14, I think it's 14. This might take one episode or two, and by that I mean level 5 Crown Dungeon. Let's make a start. We're going to go up and left, first off. And where to now? Yep, keep going up. Kill the enemies, I mean. If you can't open a door, then you'll generally have to kill enemies or push something. <laughs> It's not uh, rocket science. This is a tough dungeon, and like I said in, at the end of the last episode, we are going to need to have some luck on our side to get through it without any problems. We can use a switch hook. Switch hook. Use it by there, just about reaches. You can use a seed, uh, seed shooter if you really want to. Like, either one does the same. So let's keep going. We want to go downstairs now. Hold on. Here we go. Do we? Do we want to go downstairs? Yes, we do. I mean, yeah. Got a key. Remember the tiles? If they're up, then you can't pass them. So you want to hit an orb if you're going the wrong way. Um. Ah, oh, shit, I've come the wrong way. I'm sure I have. I have. We're <laughs> Bollocks. Never mind, never mind. So... <laughs> Funny. It's not going to take long to get back. It's just not a good start, you know. Not a good start at all. Anyways. Where to now? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> we want to go back across. And get your seeds ready. Sand seeds are probably best, I think. Because they're not as useful as ember seeds in other places, you know. You can't just switch up because the tiles get in the way. In the way. Now we need to go back downstairs again. Now that we got the key. The only reason we did the last time was for the small key. So, uh, how do we get down there? You ask. That's a good question, actually. That is a good question. I guess it's up this way. I hope so. Anyway. Because I'm, I'm assuming we're going to get lost in this one. We probably will. Downstairs. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I knew there were some stairs around. And we're now on the other side of that. That's good, isn't it? Where we saw them before. Where we uh, came the wrong way about a minute ago, if that. <clears throat> oh, I'm boiling. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> My room is absolutely boiling. I can't open the window. Oh, there's so much noise outside, you can't record properly, so... Right. We can come down here now. Let's get the salt back on, shall we? Ah, itch, 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 itch. Right, there we go. So, yeah. We're gonna go past here. Keep on going. Right. Uh... I know, I know. You need to bounce them like that, and then try and get it really quick. There we go. Another small key. Obviously handy. I, you don't need me to tell you that. Have a little look around a sec. So yeah, a little bit confusing, I find, that little bit. I thought because in Seasons you get that weapon where you shoot three seeds at once. I thought that might have been um, what was going on there, but no. Come on, I hope we're going the right way. And we've got the orb the right way. I think it's this way? I think it is. I, no, it's not. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, how did I miss? Should we try? Kill the enemies a sec so they don't, they don't get in the way. Should we try? Going this way. I hope so. I know that that's, those stairs are for later on, you know. I think, anyway. I mean... <laughs> 
This all centralizes around that room with the orb that we just saw. There's um, not many places you can go wrong as such, but there is some backtracking if you do go wrong, you know. Anyway, let's kill this mini boss now. It's like a game of fetch. Wait till it stops bouncing so you don't get hurt. Not like I just did it. And you have to throw it at him like he's throwing it at us. If it disappears, it just means that um, it's been too long since it's exchanged hands. <laughs> Three times. That was just cheap of me. Yeah, 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 you little shit. Ah. <laughs> yeah, on. I can't remember his name. I'll put it in the video description again. Oh, <laughs> it did, did it for him that thing. Good, that's a nice change. And again, he could have got it then as well. Wait for him to get a bit closer, and now go for it. It's a toughish mini boss. I find the mini bosses are harder than the bosses in this game quite a lot of the time. It's quite shocking, really. Right, we can use the cane by you. The cane? The war? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Wrong way, wrong way. I can't quite remember where to go. God, I feel shit about it. This is going to be a two episode. It just is. Because of how we're doing. But at least the mini boss is done now, you know. At least we won't have to do him later. Let's go down here, shall we? We haven't been down, down here yet. So, why not? Why not? We haven't got the map yet either, and I'm sure we can't be far from that. Ooh, boss key over there. Boss room, I mean. So we know where that is as well. It's the bottom right of all this. We'll need the red tiles down. Gotta try and remember that. Can't use our key. We need to get the, uh, the right tiles sorted now, I think. <clears throat> or we could go down here. Should we go down here? Yeah. Why not? Have a little look around. Go. We got a key, see, so I'm not too fussed about going the wrong way too much, too much, other than for you having to see me backtrack. But I can always, I can always cut if I think it's going too far, you know. Let's go downstairs. Right, come on, come on, right, and again, right, and again. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, this room. Okay, this is. A difficult room, I think. But I think there's an easy way to get past it without having to worry too much about it. Get the Pegasus seeds on and jump like your life depends on it. But only when the diamond's out the way this way, apparently. Shit. Oh, I pressed A! Oh, this is a, this is a sticky wicket. <laughs> Press A! Bloody game! I think this would be easier if we had the inventory item that we're gonna get in this place. Wow, that was luck. Shit, that wasn't. <laughs> you just gotta hope for the best, sort of. Nope! Okay, we need to go down to there. Keep going down, I guess. Oh, come on! Right, I'm gonna get the pe Pegasus Seeds on, just in case. Oh, I pressed A! Why does jumping not work in this game? Okay, that was my fault. It's because we're running now, it's awkward. I can't do it, I just cannot fathom it out. There's no enemies around now, either, because we killed them. <laughs> Why? I pressed left! Why is he dropping down the holes? <laughs> don't like you. I really don't like you. Jump, jump, jump! I pressed A 50 times. Right, okay, we'll, we'll make it a bit easier, maybe. I hope. Let's see if we can use this to see where the floor is, shall we? 
I don't think this is how it's intended to be done, but maybe it is, I don't know. You can see a little green square under where it's going. But now, it doesn't help as much as you might think. <laughs> I mean, he's not helping at all, is it? We made it! Now I might as well drop down. I mean, we haven't got much health left, but who cares? <laughs> Went all our way for a key, and somehow we lived. Somehow we lived to tell the tale! Right, okay. Let's go. Back up, and that is that way done. Thank God for that. That's probably the hardest room in the entire dungeon. So at least it's done. Let's try and get some health back, shall we? Fortunately, we got that ring on that gives two hearts instead of one. We need the red down, otherwise we're not getting out of here. Come on, health. Thank God. Not far full health now, either. So, the only way we haven't been is down there. So I think we'll do that now. That I can think of, anyway. I might be wrong. So let's go down here. And keep on going until we find the boss key and the inventory item, which... Both of which... Uh, we'll need, badly. We need to go down those stairs by there. So that's another way we need to go. We'll try this way first, though. Nope, we can't do that one. So we'll go downstairs up here instead. Crown Dungeon, very puzzling, very confusing. I always have a bit of trouble with it. And I think, I think we've found where we need to go next. Please. No, we haven't. We've come the wrong way again. Bollocks. Okay, uh, got to think. Okay, there is another way we haven't been. And that was back where we unlocked the door. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not a huge fan of this dungeon, I'll be honest. <clears throat> At all, in fact. See, I've written a couple of notes. What I had to do, I write a couple of notes, hoping that it'll help me when I get stuck. I don't write a complete walkthrough or anything for it, but just a couple of notes. And I didn't write it for this bit, funnily enough. Oh, wait, wait, there's another one we haven't got either. Another trust chest. I think it was across here. It was like behind some tiles and yeah, there it is. There it is. Map. Oh good. Oh I got a note on this one. We can carry on a bit with a bit of guidance. Oh back off. Give me some health. A theory will be lovely at this point. Come on, health. Come on. Oh yeah, sense seeds, that's what we need. <laughs> uh We haven't gone downstairs here yet, so we'll try it. My notes are making no sense, so I mean, I'm just blind, going through blind. Ember seeds are going to be needed, this get, this goes automatically. There we go. Easy enough, really. Okay, I remember this bit. Jumpy puzzle again, just like in Dungeon 4. Yellow and red are right next to the blocks. No, it's not jumpy, actually. Yellow and red need to be where the two blues are, so we're going to push those out of the way a sec. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know, I know. So red needs to be by you. Yellow needs to be... by you. Let's try check again. Blue up above the red. Okay. Oh, I can't push it now. Bollocks. Can't push it away from the edge. We'll have to try again. Yellow and red once again and blue up above. So yeah. Need to get that for there, that for there, that for there. This yellow out of the way a bit. That for there. That for there. And I think I think we've got the right side done. Okay. So now we need to get the blue in the middle. Yellow for there. And push the blue down too. Yeah! And this is the inventory item of the dungeon, the cane of Samaria. Use it to create blocks. Very handy, seen in Link to the Past. Just Link to the Past had a little extra uh, concept to it, where if you hit it, it would break. Or was that in Four Swords Adventures? Either way, now we can use it. All you need to do in this room, to get what we need to get. 
push these on three of the switches. Oh, wow, time's running now. <laughs> Great. But, I mean, we've done most of the stuff in this dungeon, even if we did it in, in a very cock-handed fashion. Either way. Now we need to see where exactly we needed the cane before. We needed it where we went downstairs. That's to the boss room across there, we know that. Come on, health, no? Okay. Ah, I remember, it was downstairs by you. I think. I hope. Hope to God. Yeah, he was. You just need health badly. Kill a couple of bats, they're normally good for a bit of health. But he's gone, so... Pressing B to jump, it seems so wrong to me. So wrong. <laughs> Is that just me? It should be A, it just should be. We've got two keys. Oh, no health in any of it. Give each sense seeds on. Nope. Try again. Come on, bats. Come on, keys. Okay. 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 We're gonna do it, folks. We are. Ooh, puzzle. I do quite like this puzzle. It's easy enough. All I need to do is get one of these on one of these squares. One of these on one of these. Put this by here so it doesn't get pushed in symmetry with the other one. And put it by here so it can't be pushed once again to go down. Easy enough. Just gotta figure out the concept first. Three keys, bloody hell. Where the hell do we use all these? There must be somewhere else that we couldn't use the cane before. Do you know? I don't know. <laughs> This is going to be a long episode, isn't it? Maybe I'll cut it in two, but they won't be... It'll be like uh, episode 14, A and B. No, wait, we need it to be on the other one. So we can actually leave uh, the other side. The other side of this, don't you? I'm making no sense, but it makes sense to me, so... Oh, shit. Don't want to jump on him now. You want die in one, we want, but... <clears throat> not far off, so... That's our bit done. Need to have a think now. Oh no! Health, please! Nope. Ah, oh, where the mini boss was. That's what we need to do now. Okay, that's fine. We can teleport to where the mini boss was anyway. We just have to have an extra death on our on our conscience. <laughs> but yeah, we're nearly done. We are. I thought it would be harder, but no, it's been okay really. We'll use the Cane of Samaria by here. And get the switch hook on for by here. The compass. This late in the dungeon, do we really need a compass? I guess because you have to stockpile so many little keys. Maybe it'd be handy if you missed one or something. You get a chime for the room and stuff. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll forgive it. It's a good time to get a compass. For those who get lost. Or lost keys. Or whatever, you know what I mean. Oh, come on, Bosky, let's be at the end of the path. I can't believe I went through doing a practice run and I'm ignoring the notes so much. Only because I wrote stupid notes that didn't make any sense half the time. That's all. Upstairs again. Okay. Another orb. This is where things start to get awkward for me. The orbs. More awkward, again, I mean. So, what we're going to do, we are going to go for this, and now hit it again so we can walk on the tiles. I think it's the first time we've seen this sort of thing happening. Maybe. We're going to go up here through the locked block. Just keep following the path a bit. Let's have a think. Yeah, we need to go through here again. Hit that. So we can come back out, see? Otherwise, if we didn't unlock it, then uh, we wouldn't have been able to come back out. Oop, wrong way. Up here. So we can walk up to where the blue blocks are. And carry on going up. I'm just checking a little bit. That's all I'm doing. Seeing if I'm missing anything. Okay. So we can go down the stairs, finally. that, and there we go. Through the la use our last key now. The last little key needed for this dungeon. Oh, 
but I think we might need to leave this room and come back in to, yeah, get that trust chest. Can't quite remember what's in the trust chest, but I just want to get it to see, you know? Here we go. Just for the sake of it. 50 rupees? Oh, good. Like I said a couple of times now, lately, we'll be needing 600 by the end of the game. We don't need to spend any more rupees, not a single one all the way through. We could if we wanted to... Oh, what am I doing with shield? Uh, that. Ah, oh, I remember the boss. That's going to be tricky. Okay. Yeah, here's the puzzle. So the owl says, surround me with statues. It doesn't matter which order you do it in. But the blues, they all go in symmetry like that. So you want to... We're going to start with the blues just for the sake of it. No particular reason. And yeah. What am I doing? What did I do that for? Okay, I think I think that's a pretty pretty good going. I wanna get the reds across now. Just so now I can push the blue without that red stopping things getting in the way. I don't know if that even makes sense, but we'll push this left and I'll just get the yellow in. Shit. Hold on. Let's block that one out a bit. <clears throat> and we are done. It's a pretty complicated puzzle. Oh shit, in hell. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, block for there. See, this... It can be a bit confusing trying to remember where all three of the statues are, even if you can see them all at the same time. It still does a little bit. I think they take us back outside the... Back outside the, um, the boss room, which is... Go to the centre room where we started everything, and, uh... Go to the bottom right from there, putting the red tiles down. See you in a sec. Oh, I forgot about this. I've made it to this square by here, which you can check by pressing select to open the map. I'm sure I've mentioned that before, and we can come down here. But we need to um, hit back a little bit to the orb and put the red down, like I said <laughs> a couple of seconds ago, I think. And come this way. <clears throat> oh my god, my throat. <laughs> Everyone in my house has had a cold for about a week now, at least. And I've sort of not had it. I've sort of avoided it for some reason. I can feel it in my throat a little bit, but I'm hoping that that's just my hay fever. <laughs> I'm hoping to God. Before going in, we want to check all the jars to hope that we can get some health, because this next boss is not going to be particularly easy. Not because it hurts you a lot, but because um, because of the concept. And you'll see now. You'll see now. Here we go. It's more like a mini game, actually. It's time for our little game. I break apart. If you can force me back together and blow me away, it ends. But before you do, I shall take a bit of your soul. Now begin. So yeah, it's taking our soul, and that means in a lot of games and anime and stuff, that means that the person can control you somehow. So what I want to do? Keep the sword on and Kena Samaria. You never would have thought this would be a part of a boss, would you? So they get together and then just keep attacking. Don't need to charge it at all. Just attack, attack, attack. To destroy blocks, you can use your sword to swing at it, which is fine. Now we need to get three together, so we'll use this block. Now it'll move a bit slower though. What we need to do is get this one across here. You can destroy the bubbles as you just saw. Okay, so we need to get three together. Because this one's smaller, I'm going to do that. Hold on. Ooh, that was close. Okay, come around, and now you can make it go like that. Just do it at the very last second, you know. Um, make another block switch at the very last second. So, yeah. I'm going to put this one across this time. I think this is the last one that we need to do now. Shit, that was the wrong one. Oh, I forgot you could do that. Hit them with your sword and it stops them in their tracks. Makes them stop going around so you can time it better. Okay, this is the last one, I'm certain of it this time. Press the button. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Press the button in the top left corner and it resets the whole part that you're on, you know. If you happen to screw yourself over somehow. I'm not sure. It must be pretty difficult to screw yourself over, but I'm sure it happens. Because this sort of inventory item, I can see being a little bit buggy, maybe. It's the sort of thing that tends to be buggy in these games anyway, maybe. 
I'm hoping then. There we go, boss done. Easy enough, really. I mean, it's a bit tricky if you don't understand the little intricacies of the Kinos Mario, which I didn't for such a long time, and I found that boss so hard the first time. But yeah, anyway. That's the dungeon done. We got the sacred soil in essence of time. All that lies sleeping in the bosom of the earth. <laughs> bosom. <laughs> the nourishing warmth of the sacred soil. Oh, so that's dungeon one of the Rocky Ridge. Done. <laughs> the second one is hard to get to. You might think this is in the same general area. It's easy and quick to get to the next dungeon, but it's not. You've got to find two keys and get to the dungeon as well. But you'll see all that starting in the next episode anyway. Link, I still hear an essence echoing near Rolling Ridge. Huh? I think someone's come. <laughs> huh? I was digging a new tunnel and I ended up here. Hey, what are you doing here? Don't you know? Games are the new fad on Rolling Ridge. You should check them out too. There's going to be so many mini games and stuff, it's fun. <laughs> it's actually quite hard. Anyways, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in the next episode when we start the Rolling Ridge... Uh, we're not starting Rolling Ridge, but the minigame section and everything. I'll see you in a bit.